In previous videos, we talked a little bit about MAC addressing at the layer 2 of the OSI model. So let's get more into what MAC addressing means. MAC stands for Media Access Control, and a Media Access Control address of a device is a unique identifier, and it's assigned to a Network Interface Controller, or a NIC, as we sometimes call, for communications at the data link layer of a network segment. MAC addresses are used as a network address for most IEEE 802 network technologies, and that includes Ethernet and Wi-Fi. So once again, it is IEEE assigned. So what does that mean? Well, it's the International Electrical Institute that basically comes up with a lot of these standards. And they used to call this MAC 48 because it's a 48-bit address. But now we've sort of changed that. It's an obsolete name to call it MAC 48. We now call it EUI-48, and that stands for Extended Unique Identifier. And it's made up of six octets, uh, which we also refer to as bytes. So remember, a byte is basically 8 bits, because remember, byte stands for by 8. Setup times 6 octets, we end up with 48 bits total. So there's even more bits in a MAC address than there are in an IPv4 address, which is only 32 bits total. And uh, we see it split up in a very unique way. Unlike IP addressing, it's split up where the first three bytes, or 24 bits, are manufacturer numbers. So you can tell who made a device, a network interface card, basically uh, based on the three first three bytes uh, of the MAC address. And uh, various different uh, MAC address manufacturers will end up using the uh, same first three bytes, so that way you can tell who's who, but then the last three bytes are unique to the device. So the last three bytes are going to be completely different. You don't want to have a network interface card that has the same three bytes that are for the device. They have to be unique. If you end up purchasing two network cards with the same MAC address that are the same all the way through, all 48 bits, and you plug them into a network, it's the same type of thing if you accidentally assign IP addresses uh, to two different devices. The network goes haywire. You end up um, having uh, traffic that is confused as to where it should be delivered. And you end up with a lot of uh, slowdowns in the network as this confusion just ends up building and building in the network switch. So a lot of higher end network switches have a protection for this. They will shut down a port where it sees a duplicate MAC or a duplicate IP address to keep that from happening. So can you change the MAC address? Well, you can't change the physical burned in MAC address on a network interface card. However, you can use software to spoof that address. So other computers see it as a completely different address than what it is. Um, so if you do end up with, by accident, two MAC addresses that are the same, and it's a very rare occurrence that this will ever happen, then you can uh, end up changing what uh, is broadcast out to the network uh, using software. And usually that software is built right into the driver that's in the Windows uh, device manager. If you do an IP config space forward slash all command, which we've done in previous videos, you'll see the MAC address of the network interface card, and you can look at those first three bytes to see who manufactured it. There's many different websites out there where you can type in the first three bytes, and they'll tell you the name of the manufacturer, so that way you can go get the, uh, the proper uh, driver update if you need it, or if you need to replace the unit, you'll know exactly what you currently are using. MAC addresses on cards are very important to a network. It's how the switches know where your device is so it can communicate with other devices on the network.